Well, hi there. It's your favorite math specialist, Todd, here. Have you ever heard the saying, give someone a fish and you'll feed them for a day? Teach someone to fish and you'll feed them for a lifetime. I'd really like to use this concept for your Alex Math. So I've created this video to help you learn how to fish for any extra support material that for any topic that you find to be challenging. So let's get started. In this example, let's say I'm having trouble with this particular topic, solving linear inequality problem type 4. Did you know that you can highlight that topic name from your Pi? I'm going to hit Control C for copy that, and then I'm going to click on that. Now you'll notice the first and foremost extra help you can find for yourself is this explain button. So if we click on the explain button you'll notice that it really describes each and every step. It's important to read carefully and follow those steps and of course you have the option of printing this page to put into your math notebook or writing it down whichever helps you most. So you've got to read closely. First we need to eliminate the fraction I don't know about you, but I'm not a big fan of fractions. They're kind of confusing. I often make mistakes. So how do we do that? Well, it says right here we can do this by multiplying both sides of the inequality by the denominator, 7. All right, so that's what we do here. This 7 and this 7 multiplying both sides. Then distributing. Notice we get rid of all of the fractions. So I could go through this, but I know you can read. So this is just an example. Now, let's say that after I've read very, very carefully, and there might be some points that I don't quite understand, like this reverse the inequality sign, I can click on that, and it gives me even more details about that. So keep in mind, links in Alex are links for a reason. Extra support, extra resource. So if we go back and I'm still having trouble. I'm going to practice another one. Here's an inequality. Uh, it's still kind of a struggle for me. So what do we do? Well, if we go to our algebra in Edge Courses, notice there's a link for Math Resources. If we click on that link, you'll notice down here we've got several listings of different sites that can be of help. This Algebra 1 Alex support site is pretty helpful. If we pull that up, you'll see that it lists not only some helpful links here. This is uh, not a very pretty shape. Let's resize that a bit. So not only do we have a helpful set of links for different sites, but there are also some topics. Okay, so remember we did a control C. If I do a control F on this page and then I paste my linear solving linear inequality and I'm going to take out the problem type 4. Hey, what do you know? Look, here's solving linear inequality problem type 3. Hey, here's one problem type 4. There's a video. I can click on that and it'll take me right to a YouTube video made by our own, uh, no, I'm not sure if this is, yep, this is made by our own Visions Math teacher, Tracy, Tracy Steed. She manages the Algebra 2 and Calculus classes. Great, so there's one method. If we go back to our um, resource page, where was that? Oh, right here. So we found a specific video for that type. Now I want to also help you find some other resources. The Khan Academy, one of my favorites. If we open up the Khan Academy, you may easily be overwhelmed by the number of topics. Whoa. But notice, it lists algebra right there. And remember, we've got this very cool tool by which we can use to search. Control F. If we search for linear inequality, notice nothing came up. But if we just put in linear 
inequality. Uh-oh, all of a sudden, we've got quite a few. Here's solving and graphing linear e inequalities in two variables. You know, that doesn't match ours. We only have one variable in our problem types. So I'm just going to take out the, the word linear, and I'm going to look for inequalities. Oh, all of a sudden, I've got many, many more. Notice that this one says algebra solving inequalities. Maybe I need a little bit of a refresher on that exact topic. So I can click on that, and here we go. We've got a nice six and a half minutes worth of extra support. OK, so let's review how to fish for extra support with a, an Alex topic. First, remember that explain button in Alex. That's really helpful. Be sure to read everything very carefully, as well as click on any links to words or concepts that you don't understand. Remember, you can also print this page or take notes in your math notebook. Second line of defense would be choose a support site, or more than one. You might find two or three. YouTube even works. Choose that site from the Math Resources link in Edge Courses. Then, once you're in that site, you can copy the topic name from your pie and use your control F which is find to search for topic for that topic name on that particular support site once you find some information you can click that to either read or watch whether it's a video or a stagnant static page then make sure you read and or listen very carefully as well as take notes in your math notebook. Okay, great. Hope that helps.